attack. The octonauts and the crafty cuttlefish. All right, Cap. Your octo compass is ready to go. Oh, thanks for fixing it, Tweak. I don't feel like a captain without it. You better give it a quick check. I'll show you how it works, Vegemals. If I need to talk to someone, I just touch the screen. Look. Hello. And if I'm away from the octopod and I need to sound the octo alert, I can use this to do that too. Uh, don't worry, that was just a test. I can even take a picture with it. Looks like it's working perfectly, Tweak. All right, Cap. See you later. Would you like to hold it, Tunip? Be very careful with it and give it back to me as soon as you've each had a turn. Octonauts? Huh? Octonauts, who sounded the octo alert? Um, Shellington, do you know what he's saying? Yes, Captain. He says that your octo compass flew out of the octo hatch and they don't know where it is, I think. And they're really sorry. Don't worry, Vegemals. We'll find it. Dashi, activate the Octo Compass Finder. I'm on it, Captain. There it is. <laughs> it's floating into the cove. Look. It stopped moving. All we have to do now is go into the cove here and get it. Easy. Super, super. Or maybe not so easy, Captain. This cove is known to pirates everywhere as... Creepy Cove. Creepy Cove? What's so creepy about it? It's the home of a creepy monster with creepy powers. And what might those powers be, Quasi? The monster of Creepy Cove can change colors like magic. It can make itself grow as big as three whales. And finally, it can make perfect copies of itself until you're surrounded by monsters. I've always wanted to explore Creepy Cove and see that monster in action for myself, matey. <laughs> I'm not sure there's really a monster living in this cove. Creepy Cove, Captain. But we do need to get my Octo Compass back. So, Quasi, Peso, into the gut. We're heading for... Creepy Cove? Um, yes. <laughs> Tweak, open the Octo Hatch. Right away, Captain. According to the map, the Octo Compass should be somewhere near the entrance to the cove. So we won't have to go very far inside Creepy Cove to find it. Unless the monster of Creepy Cove finds it before we do and takes it for himself. Here we go. The entrance to the cove. The Octo Compass is small, so we'll have to look very carefully. Peso, you take that side of the rocks and I'll take the other side. And Quasi... Quasi? <sighs> Come on, Peso. Activate helmets. No monster yet, Captain. Well, you never know. He could appear at any moment. Oh. Don't worry, Peso. We'll find the Octocompass in no time. Let's search these rocks first. Huh? <gasps> what was that? Look, the Octocompass is moving. Dashy to Captain Barnacles. Barnacles here. Go ahead, Dashy. Um, Captain, 
Have you found the Octo Compass? Uh, no, not yet. Well, somehow it's on the move again, deeper inside the cove. Tell me which way to go, and we'll catch up with it. Okay, Captain. Go left. Go through the rock archway, and to your right. Captain, what are we chasing? The Octo Compass. It's moving again. A monster of Creepy Cove must have grabbed it. All right, Dashy. Now which way do we go? The Octo Compass has stopped moving, Captain. It has to be somewhere very close by. Understood, Dashy. Barnacle's out. Yeah, that scurvy monster is hiding in this kelp with your Octo Compass. Well, I don't know if a monster took it, but one thing's for sure. My Octo Compass is somewhere in this kelp, and we've got to find it. I'll search this way. I'll search that way. And I'll take the middle. it there before. Rocks can't move all by themselves. That's silly. Hey. Hey. Okay, now that rock looks just like an ordinary rock, and ordinary rocks don't sneak around. And so, to prove to myself that there's nothing to be afraid of, I'll just sit right down on this ordinary old rock and go! <laughs> Flippers. What is it, me hottie? Stop that rock! Huh? <gasps> oh, that's no rock! It's the monster of Creepy Cove! And it has the captain's octo compass! Quasi? Peso? What happened? We saw the monster. First, it looked like a rock. And then it made itself huge. And then it turned green and disappeared. Aye, and it's got your Octo Compass. Dashy to Captain Barnacles. The Octo Compass is moving into a small cave on the other side of the kelp. Thanks, Dashy. Octonauts, let's get to that cave. Ready? Yow! Ah, I reckon the monster wants to trap us inside this cave, Captain. Hmm. Well, I don't see any monsters, but I do see my octo compass. The monster! Give him whiskers! Another monster! That's good! What? The real one! Gotcha! Don't worry. We won't hurt you. So you're the monster of Creepy Cove? No, I'm not a monster. I'm just a cuttlefish. A cuttlefish? Then how do you explain the fact that you changed your size and your shape and your color? No, that's what we cuttlefish do to protect ourselves so other animals can't hurt us. I can make myself disappear. Whoa. See, I look just like a rock. Or I can make myself look bigger. Amazing. Or I can shoot out ink and make it look like you're seeing another cuttlefish while I swim away. That's incredible. Hi, matey. We didn't mean to frighten you, Mr. Cuttlefish. We've only been chasing you because you have something that belongs to me. You mean this? Yes. That's my octo compass. Here, please take it. I was just playing with it. I like how it changes its look. Just like me. <laughs> You're right. And it also turns into a camera. May I take your picture? Well, okay. How about a group shot? Yeah, all right. <laughs> Say cheese. As you can see, the monster of Creepy Cove was just a cuttlefish. <laughs> Tunip, don't even think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Astronauts! The Octonauts and the Crafty Cuttlefish. All right, Kip. Your Octo Compass is ready to go. Oh, thanks for fixing it, Tweak. I don't feel like a captain without it. You better give it a quick check. I'll show you how it works, Vegemals. 
If I need to talk to someone, I just touch the screen. Look. Mm. Hello. <laughs> and if I'm away from the octopod and I need to sound the octo alert, I can use this to do that too. Uh, don't worry, that was just a test. I can even take a picture with it. Looks like it's working perfectly, Tweak. All right, Jeff. See you later. Would you like to hold it, Tunip? Be very careful with it and give it back to me as soon as you've each had a turn. and the crafty cuttlefish. All right, Chip. Your octo compass is ready to go. Oh, thanks for fixing it, Tweak. I don't feel like a captain without it. You better give it a quick check. <laughs> I'll show you how it works, Vegemals. If I need to talk to someone, I just touch the screen. Look. Mm. Hello? And if I'm away from the octopod and I need to sound the octo alert, I can use this to do that too. Uh, don't worry, that was just a test. I can even take a picture with it. Search this way. I'll search that way. And I'll take the middle. <gasps> that rock, was it there before? Rocks can't move all by themselves. Silly. Okay, now that rock looks just like an ordinary rock, and ordinary rocks don't sneak around. And so, to prove to myself that there's nothing to be afraid of, I'll just sit right down on this ordinary old rock and go! Flappity flippers! What is it, me hearty? Stop that rock! Huh? Oh, that's no rock. It's the monster of Creepy Cove. And it has the captain's octo compass. Quasi, Peso, what happened? We saw the monster. First, it looked like a rock. And then it made itself huge. And then it turned green and disappeared. Aye. And it's got your octo compass. Deshi to Captain Barnacles. The octo compass is moving into a small cave on the other side of the kelp. Thanks, Deshi. Octonauts, let's get to that cave. Ready? Yow! Ah, I reckon the monster wants to trap us inside this cave, Captain. Hmm. Well, I don't see any monsters, but I do see my octo compass. The m monster. Shiver with whiskers. Another monster! That's good! <laughs> the real one! Gotcha! <laughs> Don't worry, we won't hurt you. So you're the monster of Creepy Cove? No, I'm not a monster, I'm just a cuttlefish! 